This one's from Ron, and it's titled CNC Router Build Idea. He says he's getting ready to build a CNC in his basement, and he can't afford to lose a lot of floor space, so he plans on mounting it vertically to the wall. And he plans on bolting it to concrete floor and walls. He envisions it as about 9 or 10 feet wide by 6 or 7 feet tall and only sticking out the wall maybe 2 feet for the Z axis. And he also goes on to say that he could, he could actually home the Z axis to the ceiling and that would keep it out of the way. I think that sounds like a great idea. He envisions it with counterweights and, you know, pulleys. And he thinks it will move smooth up and down effortlessly so he won't need a huge stepper motor. His question is, he just wants to know if I see any potential downsides to making a router in this manner. Yeah, that's a great idea, Ron. I like the idea of a vertical router mount. In fact, I thought of that myself when I was watching the saws that they use inside Home Depot to cut uh, paneling. If you had some motors on one of those paneling vertical cutters, that'd be pretty neat. It's going to be a challenge to do the pulleys and the counterweights, and that's really what's going to have to be done. But if that doesn't scare you off, I would say, yeah, go for it. I would be concerned it would be a little difficult to do a counterweight system, but maybe not. Um, as far as the downside, um, I really can't think of any downsides. Maybe um, the way that you secure your, your uh, material is going to have to be kind of custom. You're going to have to use a lot of clamps, maybe even a vacuum clamp would be ideal in this case but that would make it stick out from the wall even further i measured my techno router in my room and i can tell you i've got four inches of travel and the height of it's 30 inches and that goes from the motor to the to the base of the legs and you were mentioning maybe two feet i would plan on at least 30 inches or maybe maybe even a little more and you know you can incorporate a vacuum system. I think that would be a great idea. My only concern is, like I said, uh, getting the counterweights and the slides just right might be a little challenging because you're fighting gravity. But if you use tabs to hold your piece in and maybe you use a vacuum uh, holding system, it could work really great. I would be interested in seeing more. If you plan on doing this, send me some pictures, and uh, I'd like to share them. So one more thought about the vertical mounted router. Maybe you should have it angled out of the wall just a little bit. If your wall's here, instead of mounting it flat to the wall, have the bottom kicked out just a little bit so you have enough angle in there. So if you put a piece of plywood on here, it'll just fall against the wall and gravity will be on your side. It's going to take a little bit more floor space to kick that bottom out, but uh, you know when you go to put a piece of wood up there, it's going to land on the bottom and then fall to the wall. Gravity is always better on your side. I think it would be well worth that change. When you get started, send me some pictures. I would like to see what you're working on, Ron. Thanks for the question. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. If you have your own question that you would like answered, please head over to the gurubrewshow.com website, click on the Ask a Tech link, and leave a question, and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.